Hi everybody, this is Patty Mould with the Technology Department, and today we're going to take another look at Freckle, and specifically we're going to look at Freckle assignments. So assignments is work that teachers can assign to their students um, from their teacher dashboard. There's a couple of different ways to do it. I'm going to show you one, um, and it should help you find ways to help your students practice um, either as a whole class or as individual groups at their own level. So the first thing I want you to do is when you log into Freckle and you're on your teacher dashboard, let's go over here and take a look at assignments. This would be the area that you would see any assignments that you had made and students were either working on or they would be assi assignments that are ready to uh, go out to students, like if you were assigning into the future. So for example, if I take a look at um, this classroom right here, I can see that right now I have a measurement and data assignment sitting there waiting for my students to do. And as they complete it, and yes, this is a very small class, but as they complete it, my completion bar, bar will fill up. And this would also be where I could go and I could view a report um, or I could um, assign again if I felt like I needed more practice. There are tabs across here to show me my assignments in different subjects. And you can see that. Uh, remember that right now, social studies and science are on a trial basis. We typically don't have those during the year, um, but you know, they give you a chance to see what is there. The other thing you can do is if you click older assignments, um, you know, it's gonna show you anything you have older than 30 days. You can clear those out if you want just to keep your dashboard clean. And so this, this will show you where you'll find those assignments once you make it. So now let's take a look at how do we actually make an assignment. And the way that we make an assignment is we're gonna go again underneath the subjects here. And if I expand out one of the areas, you'll see that there is a section that is called assign. Now I'm gonna take a second here to stop with the assi assignments um, and just show you some of the different things for both math and both language arts. And so when I cover to the math contact here, and that's just going to be here. So if you ever don't remember where this is, read this page because it gives you kind of an overview of everything you can do. Um, you have the ability to assign skills practice. Um, this can be adaptive along the individual student pathway. It can also be targeted. Um, adaptive is going to be where students are practicing at their own level. You can pick the domain, for example, like geometry or measurement and length that the students work in. Um, if the students haven't done the pretest, know that they have to do the pretest before they're going to be able to move on in any of these assignments. But it's really individual work. When you do targeted math practice, um, this is where you're assigning it by specific standard. Now, understand that all the students can be working on the same standard, but they can be doing it at the level that they are at. And so you have the ability to, you know, make an assignment where everybody's doing something with geometry, but students are doing it at their own adaptive level. And so you have some options here. There is also options to assign um, fact practice, um, number facts, Again, they have audio and visual supports with this. Um, number basics, now this is, is pretty much a K to two area, um, but it's gonna be building uh, counting and number recognition skills. Then when we come down here, this is where we have some lesson-based resources. And these would be things that you would use to lead your students through a lesson. They're really designed for the teacher. And then finally down here at the bottom, we have our assessments. Um, remember we, in another video, we talked about the benchmark assessment. This would be where you would make that benchmark assessment. And then once you've made it, all of it shows up in the assignment area. And so this gives you kind of just a dashboard um, in particular for the math. And let's go ahead and take a look at the language arts now. And if I scroll down again, we're just looking at the ELA content. Um, again, we have practice skills. Um, we have a library where there are articles and stories that we can assign at the student's level. 
there are skills practice. This would be something like author's intent. Um, you know, you can target a specific still. And then here, word study, this would be individualized practice based on uh, word patterns. If you're not sure what any area is, um, go ahead and take a look and explain, or excuse me, expand this, and it'll give you a little more information on it. Uh, other things you'll find in here is you can build reading fluency with decodables. Um, you can build sight words. And if you look here, based on the, the level that you are recorded as for your teacher, for example, I've been showing you guys in a second grade classroom. Um, this is going to be specific things that I would see here. If I'm working in a classroom that is older, I may have different options in the fluency area. Um, and then finally, again, you see the benchmark assessments. And so these are all the options that you have in your content areas. Now, if I want to go ahead and make a specific assignment, I'm going to go ahead and click assign. Now, understand there's multiple different ways to do this. I'm going to show you just one here. So if I click on assign here, I end up with different areas that I can make an assignment with. Um, for example, today I'm just going to click on articles and stories. And then this is going to expand to give me some more options. And I can filter uh, based on the reading level. And again, I can uh, go by domain as well as well as genre. And so if I want to really focus on, let's say, biographies, I'm going to say biographies only. Uh, I'm going to say I would like to look just at author's intent. And I am going to filter by reading level. I'm going to look at you know, my emerging readers to second grade, okay? And so then if I scroll down, it's going to give me articles that would fall in this category. And so, for example, if I click on Condoleezza, Condoleezza Rice, it is going to give me um, the article about her. It is going to give me the standards as well as then I can see the questions it would be asking and the correct answer here. And so it gives me a lot of these and I can either make a print for myself or I can assign this to the students. And again, I'm gonna make sure that in the level, I put it in a level um, that I was looking for. Sometimes when the students read this at a very, um, the emerging level, they will have these arrows to help them go page by page. And then when I click assign, um, I can assign either a reading or a writing, or maybe a little of both. I'm going to say I'm going to have an adaptive level. And so automatically it's going to scale it to where the student is. I'm going to select my class, and then I do have the ability to go in and adjust that as needed, but I'm going to leave those alone, and I'm going to say assign immediately. Again, if I click customize title, uh, it allows me to change uh, anything about this. So if I want to just put in, let's say, a date, and I can either save the changes, and I'll have an assignment right there, or I can push it out into Google Classroom, which will then give me some additional options as far as how I can assign it. And all I would do then is I would choose my classroom and I'm going to pick my Bissell test classroom. Uh, I have my assignment and I can add all of the details. But what this does is this will allow the students to have a link to directly go to that assignment. They're gonna to have to log in to Freckle, but it goes directly there and it makes it a little bit easier um, for everyone to find. And so this would be how you would make an assignment in Freckle. Uh, as I said, there are many ways to do this. Um, you know, there's ways to assign just by standard. There's ways to assign um, in groups. 
And so don't think this is just the only way, but it's, it's a good way to start. So for example, if I click this link now that I'm in Google Classroom, it will take me, like I said, to that login code. And if I use this, and let me see if I type in test student. It takes me right to that story. Now, unfortunately, I haven't done the pretest. And so, again, remember that if your student has not done the pretest, they'll have to do this even if you've made them assignments. Um, but it gets them started on the path where then they can uh, do the assignment that you have made in that particular area. So this is how we make assignments in Freckle. I hope it helps. Have a good day. We'll talk to you soon.